what's up world big city gardener here coming at you with another video for the beginning gardening series today we're going to be talking about dun dun dun, dun fall vegetables now if you didn't know fall vegetable gardening is my favorite time of year when it comes to gardening my favorite season to garden why because down here in Texas it's no longer a hundred plus degrees all day long you get some cooler nights you get some cooler able to actually get out in the garden and it be more enjoyable because it's still enjoyable when it's 100 degrees it just gets really hot all right so before we get started talking about what you can grow during the fall I'm gonna give you a saying that somebody once told me they say how do you know that uh, how do you know what can grow in the fall versus what can grow in the spring and the summer okay something like when the Sun is high you grow things that go towards the sky and when the sun is low down, you grow things close to the ground. I don't remember the exact verbiage, but it was something like that. Now, take that same knowledge that I just said and apply it to this. Fall vegetables are things that necessarily don't care for the heat. They will not grow very well when it's 100 plus degrees outside, okay? So these are going to be things like a lot of root crops. Even though, yes, I know you're able to grow some of these root crops in the summer, you usually get better crops of these root vegetables during the fall. So that a lot of your leafy greens, your brassicas, and you can still even run some of your spring and summer vegetables in the fall if you live somewhere with a mild fall like we have down here in Houston. Okay, so to get started. The root crops that I recommend you grow or that you can grow in the fall include carrots, radishes, beets, turnips, parsnips, okay? All of these enjoy a, uh, a cooler temperature. They do better when, uh, all of these vegetables right here do better when it's not 100 degrees outside, okay? Why, let's, say, let's take carrots for an example. When we seed the carrots in the bed, we have to make sure that the bed stays moist for the carrots to germinate, right? Now in the summertime when it's 100 degrees, you can moisten the bed, or you can saturate the bed first thing in the morning, but then by afternoon it's already dry. Come fall, we're able to just go out, plant our carrots, water the bed once in the morning, and you're even able to get away with not watering for the next day, okay? So that to say the ground will stay moist and saturated during the fall. Next we have our leafy greens. That includes your lettuce, your kale, your collards, your mustards, Swiss chard, and even spinach. All of these besides kale and collards and mustards and even chard. No, all of them, forget that. All of these leafy greens have the tendency to bolt whenever it gets too hot outside. All right, so with the, <laughs> What's up, Ja? So, all of these have the tendency to bolt whenever it gets too hot outside. So, with the cooler temperatures, they're able to last longer in your garden. Also, if you get these crops established in your garden in the fall, things like I've seen dinosaur kale, I've seen collards stay around for a year plus. They get established during the fall, they make it through a mild winter. Come spring, they're still kicking and you're still able to harvest from them. Okay? Now we get to our brassicas. That includes, and I know that some of the leafy greens belong over here in the brassica list. I know. Chill out. Now we get over here. We have the broccoli, the cauliflower, the kohlrabi, the cabbage, and the Brussels sprouts. Broccoli. You plant broccoli in the heat of the summer, it's going to bolt. It's going to flower before it even has a chance to form the tight heads. Okay? Cabbage, same thing. That's why these are fall crops. They need, the, they need those cool temperatures in order to thrive, in order to actually produce to their fullest potential. All right, and now we're gonna get into the squash. Um, when you live somewhere with a mild winter like we have down here or a fall where the temperatures are still relatively warm, it just cools down at night, you're able to still come out here and plant things like summer squash and cucumbers. I know some places fall gardening is really, you're not able to get another crop of these in. But out here in Houston and throughout most of Texas actually, you're able to come out and plant things like pumpkin 
summer squash, winter squash, and cucumbers. All right. Now we get into to what I call the randos, but they are some of my favorites to grow. Best time for be be beans. <laughs> this is the best time to put green beans in the ground. Uh, garlic comes a little bit later on in the fall. Onions as well. You can get corn in now and you'll be able to harvest it for Thanksgiving. And things like the, the peas, sugar snap peas, and things of that nature. All right. With a lot of these, uh, with a lot of these fall veggies, if you still have your summer crops going in your garden, you still have some tomatoes going, or you still have okra growing, you are able to plant a lot of these crops underneath those taller crops right so your okra we could come and put our carrots or our lettuce or anything underneath the okra right and the okra leaves since they're so wide and your okra plant should be relatively large by now they'll spread out and they'll create a shaded area underneath them so that shaded area uh, allows us to get some of our crops in a little bit earlier so you'll see well actually you won't see i have some okra plants or I had some okra plants. But underneath the okra plants, we had tomatoes started underneath there. And we even had, I think, yeah. Anyway, underneath the okra plants, we had things like tomatoes and carrots already going underneath in that little shaded area. So when it comes to the fall veggies, look to be able to kind of get a head start on your veggie garden by planting some of your summer crops. Like always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know how to get in touch with me, DM me, leave it in the comments below, shoot me an email. For more information on these fall veggies, you can shoot over to the blog, bigcitygardener.com. Cool, man. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.